create a new SSIS package. Name the package as load DAT file. Now create a new data flow task. Edit the task. Create new flat file source and SQL server destination. Now let us configure both these controls. So let us first of all configure the flat file source. We have to provide the path of the DAT file from where we want to load the data into the SQL server database. So we are selecting the DAT file. Now let us see whether data is coming or not. Let's click OK. Now we need to connect these two controls and then we need to edit the SQL Server Destination control. So we have to provide the connection to the our SQL Server database. In our case, the database name is SSIS Practicals. And the table in which we want to load the data is Customers table. Now this table is already created and we can see that in this table there are no rows right now. There is no data present. So let us see the column mappings. Okay, so column mappings are correct. Okay, so this ob this control is also configured now. So let's save our work. Let's execute the package. So as you can see, there is success written over there, which means our package had run successfully. So now let us see whether the data is now available in our database table or not. So you see 91 rows are available.